When I was ordering these 3 port 3.1 amp USB power supplies I knew these wouldn't be actually delivering that 3.1 amps but I was hoping these would be good enough quality for general use for example powering Arduino circuits. These costed about one dollar each so there was a chance these might not be usable but let's have a look inside and see how's the build quality can these be used for anything. The case has been made out of three different parts, which are held together with clips. There's no glue or screws, so taking these apart is very easy with a knife or other sharp thing that can be placed between the parts. Once the top part, the one surrounding the USB connectors, has been taken off, we can see there are the LEDs, which I believe are blue. In my opinion that is a annoying color for something that might be plugged in during the night but I guess that is just there to remind that you shouldn't leave these connected on the wall. Now just a few more clips and we can see the PCB. First how's the PCB connected to the plug. There's no soldered wires. There's just these connectors which look very unreliable. Reliable and safe connection between the mains plug and the PCB is something I would have liked to see. And this was actually even worse than I was expecting to see. But then let's look at the PCB and the circuit itself. Unlike on the ones that Big Clive took apart, this doesn't seem to have a controller IC. This has just some transistors and passive components on the controlling side. And actually it has optocoupler, which is more than some of the cheap power supplies have. The PCB's quality seems really low and solderings don't look too strong either. The separation bit between the primary and the secondary side is actually better than on many small USB power supplies. You can see the gap between primary and secondary here as a white or yellow line. And even though it is bigger than on some other power supplies, it doesn't mean it is good enough. But that's not the biggest problem with this power supply. This two PCB design combined with low quality PCB and low quality soldering means that this, this PCB with the connectors has become low. I think it is because the trace has been lifted from the PCB. But I took a look at another of these power supplies and there the solder joint has cracked. So there are actually two ways this can break at the same point. I think we can already make that conclusion that these power supplies are unusable, but if we look what we could salvage from these, there's the transformer core, which may be valuable, and then there's the board with the USB connectors that could be useful as well. But both of them are cheap on eBay, so it's not worth buying these power supplies even for parts. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video especially if you like that I've been uploading once a day for over a week now.